Right, hello, my name is Dustin Purcell. I'm a freight train engineer slash conductor. For the most part right now, I'm just a conductor and they'll call me for side jobs to be an engineer. And I'm placed in that bubble with seniority. I got enough seniority to be an engineer, but it's people that had more seniority than me, so I can't be a full-time engineer. Um, as you see, I'm dressed pretty warm. I'm outside of elements. It's gonna be a, a nor'easter today, so the next couple days. Dustin, welcome to the channel. Now, question, how many years you have on the railroad? <clears throat> Going on nine years. Nine years, wow. Now, Mo, what made you come to the railroad? Um, I'm an outside person. Uh, as far as the, the money is pretty good, good benefits. Uh, it changed my lifestyle. Um, I was working at the airport before this, making um, around $10 an hour. And I came here and it was a major increase. Uh, what I made out in the airport, I could make, in one week at the airport, I could make in a day. So the money was basically um, way better than the airport. Uh, so. Okay, cool. Now, um, tell me about some of your, your good experience you have here on the railroad. Good experiences? Um, it's fun, you gotta be in shape. I'm like an athletic person, so I just like being, I love being outside, I love the elements. Uh, when they're good. Now, my action, what is you, one of your bad experiences you had on the railroad? You got a railroad store for me? Um, bad experience. Um, one time I got caught, caught out in the cold uh, working at uh, Gerard's Point, uh, dumping stone. All I had was a hoodie on and I should have bought a jacket. That's why I dress so warm down. Uh, make sure I'm pretty warm and thermal up. Also, you know, that one experience changed your life. You're never going to be cold again, is you? Yeah, that's. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I tell you, it takes one time to get wet, to get cold, but like I ain't messing with that no more. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, I'll talk about the um, dumping stone. Like, what other jobs do you uh, do? Uh, dump stone, we take um, freight to different industries, like um, oil refineries or coal plants. Um, and make sure everything's in proper order. Now, going through conductor school, how was that for you? Going through conductor school was one of the hardest things I've ever did in my life. Um, and why and is that? Just like the intense studying, um, I went through college, and the amount of money I was making through college is what I'm making now. So it's like everything's accelerated. Um, uh, just stay here for a month, the courses are accelerated, then you come back and train for five months. It was pretty, it was pretty intense. Then you go away from home, you don't know nobody, by yourself, by study. Now, how long was your training in McDonough, Georgia? McDonough, Georgia, it was about three to four weeks. Um, and McDonough, Georgia, then I come back uh, home and train on a job for about uh, five months. Okay. Now, do all the, do at that time, then when you get the letter to go to engineer school, how did that make you feel? I was happy. I was uh, nervous because everybody um, puts fear in you. When you hear about engineer school, you get scared. Like you gotta pass the test. If you don't pass, you gotta uh, go back. And if you don't make it, you fail. And then you just get you out of a job. So everybody puts fear in you. But when you get there, it's not so bad. Um, the teacher yourself you out a lot. Um, you just have to study, keep your head in the books, and be on the right path. Don't get distracted. Let me ask you: Do you remember the first time you ran a locomotive? Got the first call after school mm -hmm. uh, by yourself. I remember having a bad experience on the board by myself. Oh, uh, what happened? Um, it's, it's not always <laughs> peaches and cream. It's not always uh, daisies and sunshine. It's uh, like 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 what's up with that? What happened? Um, I uh, see so was going up a hill on a loaded stone train. I did everything by the book. I don't know what happened. Um, I know the road was wet. But the train, um, I guess, started slipping. The train broke in two. And uh, what else happened? Um, Wait a minute. You said you broke the train. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. How knuckles, did you break the train? Uh, the knuckles popped. Oh, um, man. I guess it was uh, the knuckles were rusty. And um, when I went to go pull up the hill, it was too much uh, stress on the knuckles. Mm -hmm. So it came apart in two different spots. So when we fixed one spot, uh, the train put put that together. Had to find that first. We had to change the knuckle. That took. A while. Once we got that figured out, then we noticed that it, it still wasn't working, so we had to go back and find a second uh, cut in the train. So that took about a couple hours on the, um, on the main line. Now, how heavy is a knuckle? How heavy is a knuckle? About um, 
I want to say about 70 pounds. About 70 pounds. So you got, as you say, that you like working outside and also uh, being fit. Yeah, yeah, you know, be strong too, right? Yes. Something that you should be in shape before you come or, you know, that's a work in progress thing. As long as it's a work in progress, you try to get in shape uh, while you're on the road, working outside and walking back and forth gets you in shape uh, being out here. But me, I should be person, I just try to stay in shape off hours. If you say the young guy that, um, you know, wants to get into the industry, what would you tell him to do first before they even, um, you know, embark in this, uh, this quest or this, um, in this career? Um, like when they first start off, or just yeah, it, it say you know they was like a kid, but like, hey, I want to work for the railroad. What, in your opinion, what do you think that they should uh, do before even um, applying to the railroad? Um, I would say it's a it's a lifestyle. The diff the thing that I learned um, working for the airport. It was a job and coming to the railroad this um this is a career like it's a lifestyle you can't be playing around you can't be really doing too much you really got to be focused when you come to this job because you will get fired if you come here not playing around so um when you get in the best thing to do is get out of service insurance just in case uh, something does happen to you and, uh, pick a decent union that can represent you i'm in the uh, utu right now and why is that uh, I feel as though the people are in the supervisor's uh, area so they can represent you better. They have a better relationship with the supervisors and um, they're just in the area compared to uh, somebody that's uh, in a different terminal and they can't really, you can't really see them or get in contact with them. It may take a while for you to even talk to that person. Oh, okay. And then let's go back to your airport days because uh, I'm not saying a lot, but a couple of this started at the airport. Like I was at uh, NAS at building C6. And where were you at in the airport? I was in um, F terminal. Yep, F terminal. Uh, working for US Airways Express. Um, yeah, I, I, even then I was outside of Elements, but not just this one on concrete and Elements. Yeah, and I'm working in all that Elements and stuff. You said it prepared you to be um, out here having more physical, uh, be more physical in your work duties. Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just being outside of Elements is it's not for everybody. Everybody can. Really deal with the elements. It's the rain, the sleep. Well, we'll the, say it again. Uh, rain, sleep. Wait, ain't, ain't for who? It's not for everybody. Um, well, <laughs> no, man, ain't for everybody. So, <laughs> but go ahead. Not for everybody, but for I mean, you want people that yeah get the job done. Yep. Yeah, I see you out there working, making them cuts and stuff. Now, getting the work. Let's explain that. You get the work from the yard master. So you get the work from the yard master, they might give you a, like what type of work, a cut sheet or just anything? Uh, the cut sheet, you know, your, 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 your briefing. Um, when you get your work, um, they'll give you a list of instructions on what to do, whether you're taking a train somewhere, or how to put the train away, or whether you're in a yard and you have to make certain cuts and put certain cars on different tracks. Outside of railroading, I heard you have a, a business, you wanna talk about that? Yes, I have a t-shirt business, uh, I make Christian t-shirts. The so, uh, name of my Instagram is that T-shirt Ministry, and um, I just bring our word to life on T-shirts.